Hello learners, welcome to NIY studio. Myself, Dr. K. Thiyagu, Assistant Professor, Department of Education, Central University of Kerala. Now, I am going to talk about interpretation construction or icon design model. One major and popular instruction model based on constructive approach is interpretation model, icon model, which emphasizes on learners encounter with authentic issues in power or groups, on constructing interpretation by the learners in groups, searching for information about the problems in groups and facing different interpretation about the problems in groups. In other words, it is a group based teaching learning cooperative as well as the collaborative approach which as its evident lays emphasize and importance on the inclusive and all round socio academic growth of the learners and also in way has drawn insight from the concept of multiple intelligence as propounded by eminent cognitive scientist Gardner in 1993. Icon model is developed by Soi Chin Sung in 2011. He categorized the eight principles into four, three zones. In understanding zone, observation authentic activities, contextualizing prior knowledge and interpretation construction, cognitive conflict and apprenticeship. These are the things that come to the understanding zone. Then collaboration principles come to the application zone. The same way, multiple interpretation and multiple manifestation is come under the category of high order thinking skill zone. Now, we will discuss one by one the principles of icon model. Let us discuss here eight principles of icon model here. Then first principle, observation in authentic activities. Here, the learners are made to observe the elements and situation related to the problem before proceeding to evaluate a solution. In if there is no authentic observation or task involved in the knowledge to be learned, students will be learn it through rote memorization and they cannot use it in an appropriate context. The authentic learning environment which shares some features with everyday environment of scientists can help students experience an adequate level of ambiguity, uncertainty and the social and material aspects in the construction of scientific knowledge. This shapes some implication for current practice in mathematics education, which largely offers highly ideal situation for students to conduct exploration. Then principle number two, interpretation construction. Here the teachers need to create learning environment where students have opportunity to construct the interpretations of few informations. The main philosophy of constructivism is the idea that knowledge is not passively received, but it is actively built up by the cognizing subject. Learners cannot simply reproduce transmitted knowledge, but have to construct it by themselves. Hence, the teachers need to create learning environment where students have opportunity to construct the interpretations of new information. Further, probably with teacher's guidance, they should construct argument to examine, validate or challenge their interpretations. A proper understanding of creative nature of scientific knowledge can help students actively engage in the interpretation construction process. Then principle number three, contextualization prior knowledge. Here learners relate the observed situation and elements of the problem to be solved to their previous ideas, experiences or knowledges. After observing the situation, learner try to contextualize the situation. That is the learners relate the observed situation and the elements of the problem to be solved to the previous ideas, experience as well as the knowledge. Just prior knowledge which often conflict which accept the scientific views influences the, their observation of demonstrations and experimentations. The interpretation of this observation and the comprehension of mathematical texts and teachers lecture. If their prior knowledge cannot be explicitly explored or challenged, they will be returned their alt alternative conception soon after instruction or they will study the logical concept in isolation without relating what they have already known. As expected students bring various sort of previous knowledge about the knowledge to be learned. 
mathematics teacher need to create context for students to explore or apply their prior knowledge and then teachers can diagnose their alternative conceptions. Then fourth principle, cognitive conflicts. Many educators have stated that cognitive conflict which may be caused by discrepant or anomalous data is necessary although not sufficient condition for students to change their alternative conceptions. Discrepant events are designed to provide novel evidence to challenge students alternative conceptions. However, teachers should choose proper discrepance events that neither cause student confusion nor frustration. Also, it is recognized that the demonstration of discrepant events is only one of the many steps for students to process conceptual change. Then fifth principle, cognitive apprenticeship. Here the learners are encouraged to exercise their minds through different brainstorming activities by the teacher. As a teacher, we need to guide them how to analyze, interpret the problem at this stage. Teacher will find our students are having several alternative conceptions or misconceptions. The constructivist teacher is a good model in processing new information and constructing expert performance. Then step number six as well as the principle six, collaboration. Here learners discuss freely about their alternative conceptions, misconceptions and are able to communicate with their peers. As a teacher, our work is to guide each group and at the same time, we also act as a co-learner of each group. From the constructivist perspective, educators should encourage students to be collaborative in observation, interpretation, as well as the contextualization. Then seventh principle, multiple interpretation. As a learner have lot of flexibility during the learning process. They are able to interpret the knowledge in different ways and different manner and form several possible interpretation of the problem situation as well as problem solutions. Here the students can collectively construct various interpretation for a natural phenomenon and they can together evaluate these views and further decide which one is most useful and meaningful in explaining this phenomenon in the particular context. Then final principles, multiple manifestation. Here the learners try to apply various interpretation one by one of the problem solution and thus acquire multiple solutions to the problem. Further, they also gain multiple manifestation of the same interpretation. The new conception should not only solve predecessors difficulties, but also have the potential to be extended and to open up new areas of inquiry. Students acquire transferability by seeing multiple manifestation of the same idea. They are encouraged to use the same idea at different times and in various contexts. Here, I am highlighting the conceptual change as well as the icon model. What are the conceptual change is needed for the current situation? Then condition one, student must dissatisfied dis with the existing conception. Then condition number two, new conception must be intelligible. Then condition number three, new conception must be initially plausible. Then condition four, new condition must be fruitful or open to new areas of inquiry. So mathematic educator usually use discrepant event challenging students alternative conception to achieve the first conditions of contextual change, causing the dissatisfaction of the students existing conception. Come to the condition two, here the intelligibility of the scientific conception mainly comes from the observation in authentic activities. Cognitive apprenticeship from mathematics teacher and collaboration with the learning peers. The same conception conditions the plausibility of scientific conceptions making the scientific conception consistent with students other ideas is mainly achieved through the icon models principles of interpretation construction, contextualizing prior knowledge, cognitive apprenticeship and multiple interpretation that final condition the fruitfulness of scientific conception clearly is related to the multiple manifestation in the icon model and it can be explored primarily through students observation in authentic activities and interpretation construction. From these four conditions, the conceptual change can be fulfilled by practicing the eight principles of icon model. It is a unique model, try to be incorporate this model in your projects.
than conclusion of this particular topic. ICANN method when applied in mathematics teaching learning process in the classroom situation helps both the learners and teachers in successfully formulating multiple ways of solving a problem which was thought to be possessing only one correct method of solution. Now I am going to sum up the entire thing what we discussed in previously now. ICON model comprises of 8 principles. Principle number 1, observation and authentic activities. Principle number 2, interpretation construction. Principle number 3, contextualizing prior knowledge. Principle number 4, cognitive conflict. Principle number 5, cognitive apprenticeship. Then principle number 6, collaboration. Principle number 7, multiple interpretation. Then final principle, multiple manifestation. Teacher can realize our role as a teacher in such method which require total involvement of the learners along with us in a pure seat of innovation. Teacher major role is to facilitate the group interaction and keep the participants focus on the problem. This requires a lot of imagination and patience on our part of mobilize the learners capacity, capabilities, their willingness and enthusiasm and over all their pool of previous knowledge enabling them for multiple interpretation of the problem and going for multiple manifestation. This method when applied mathematics teaching learning process in the classroom situation helps both the learners as well as the teacher in successfully formulating multiple ways of solving a problem which was thought to be possessing only one correct method of solution. Hopefully you may be enjoyed this section. Thank you. Jai Hind.